Hello. So Hello. <laughs> we're kind of laughing because we're on, we're on a selfie stick and I'll try and get it right. It's, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, it's isn't it? Zoomed in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but what we're doing is we're doing a little tour of some of our deals um, just because we thought it would be quite useful for you guys. Talk through the deals, talk through some of the numbers, talk through how we valued it up, what we did with it, so that you may go, oh, you know, I could do mm -hmm. that too. And then talk through all the mistakes we made so hopefully you don't say, oh, I could do that too. Mm -hmm. So here, it's rather grand. And actually, it's actually that one there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little baby one, isn't yeah. it? So this was the garden flat in Pembroke Road. It was deal number? 14. It was such an early deal. It was so cute. Um, and we got this from? Auction. Yeah, it was, it was uh, before auction, pre yeah. auction. Yes. Who were the owners? Um, were they landlords who lived somewhere Dubai. abroad? Yeah, I so think. they lived abroad. And I think they rented it out. Yes. And then, it was tired. Yeah, it was really tired. Mm. Like, and they'd kind of weird partitions in it and all that kind of stuff. And they were in Dubai and they just wanted shot. <laughs> and um, Clifton, for those that don't know Bristol, as you can probably tell, is sort of the poshest part of Bristol. It's all, it's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And we did this in the recession because we started we the did, business yeah. in the recession. So anybody that says you can't start a property business mm -hmm. recession, yes, you can. Recession is the best time to buy, but tough to do a buy to sell. So we did this as a buy to sell, obviously. Yes, do. <laughs> so we bought it for? Uh, 175. Yep. And we did a 20 grand refurb and we sold it for? Good question. I know. 240. Zero. Zero. So in a couple 240, of... 240, 240. 240. A couple of points here. Um, in the recession, we actually sold it for 244. So bought for 175, 20 grand refurb, sold for 244. And we did it with, with a JP partner, with a really smashing guy that we've done lots mm -hmm. and lots of work with. Um, and about uh, 24 hours we're in the recession, it took 21 viewings to get. Uh, an offer on. We knew the estate agents were averaging 17 viewings. I wasn't really freaking out. Um, only once we kind of went way, you know, if we had gone way past the average, I'd have been worried, but at the time I wasn't really worried. And then it kind of chummed al along and it was a lady downsizing, I think from Bright. She was mm, downsizing. Rings a bell, yeah. A, 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 in her late 50s, I think. Mm -hmm. And her son lived in Bristol and she was downsizing to move to Bristol. Um, and at the last minute, like 24 hours in advance, they said, we're not going to spend 244, we're going to spend 240. Now, my business partner and I were, you know, our JV partner mm -hmm. was really, we were really unimpressed with that because it's just rude, you know, but it was a recession. And in a recession, we'd, we'd waited 21 viewings to get an offer and, and a couple of months, I think, to get an offer. Mm -hmm. um, we calculated it just didn't make sense to risk four grand loss versus going back in the market for another two, two and a half months with all the additional costs. So return on capital employed is a function of time as well as a function of profit. So we. Um, irritatedly accepted 240 and then when I came around to help her with the gas and the electricity I kind of kind of frowned at her a little bit and she had the grace to look ashamed so in a in, in a in a rising market we, we would say get stuffed mm -hmm. immediately and it would go straight back on the market in a in a recessionary market it was like okay but you have to exchange within the next 24 hours then the only other thing I think is um, oh yeah so of course this is one flat out of a bunch of flats so we had to write to the management company to ask permission um, uh, and usually in the in the kind of uh, lease with you, mm -hmm. uh, they can't unreasonably withhold permission. Um, we slightly naughtily got on with the work and wrote at the same time. So, you know, I was, it was quite new. So uh, I was quite nervous in case they denied us permission because we'd already done some of the work. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying as an entrepreneur, sometimes it's easier to uh, beg for forgiveness afterwards rather than ask permission. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what we did. And then the other thing we did, because we thought our market was either going to be somebody that was going to live here or a landlord, um, we moved one of the bedrooms. It was only a stud partition, yeah, but we was, yeah. just made them equal rather than unequal because it would make it a better rental possibility. As it turned out, it was a lady in her 50s that bought it, but it might have been a landlord as well. Mm -hmm. Any other mistakes we made? Because like, the mistake there was not writing to the management company straight away, um, but being slightly naughty and just cracking on. But I mean, we weren't doing anything that was too unreasonable, so it was unlikely they were going to uh, not give permission. No, I think it was very good. Yeah. And she um, she went on later to sell it again, didn't she? In yes. 2014 for 277. So. Not bad. So we bought for 175 mm -hmm. about six years ago, sold for 240, and then it was sold again for 277. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I saw it for sale and I was like, see no evil, hear no evil, I just don't even want to look in case it sold for a massive. 
Um, oh, the only other thing to talk about is how we dress this one. Because we were selling it in a recession, I didn't dress it with bog standard average IKEA. I dressed it with, oh, do you remember? In fact, um, do you remember? So Ash had just started in the business and I was working on the kitchen table and Ash was working in the dining room table. And two weeks later, after you started work, you say hello. Yeah. Two weeks later, after you started work, um, my dining room table, which is a 1950s Eames original, so kind of ticking all the design trends, disappeared. I think it was an Urkel. Oh, it was an Urkel. Oh, yeah, sorry, Urkel, yeah. Disappeared and came into here to be yeah. posing kit. Um, so Ash had to come and work with me on the kitchen table. So at that point, I, didn't ha I couldn't afford um, dressing kit, so I was using my own furniture, and my own furniture was quite nice furniture. So we dressed it really kind of design-tastic, mm -hmm. you know, original 1950s. It was very uh, nice. Urkel table, original 1950s pebble table, 1940s leather, uh, uh, sofa and seat, and because um, the, the, it was an inbuilt uh, fridge, uh, oven, yeah. we did Bosch just because it's good branding, and because this is a high value area. So the staging made it look really expensive, but in the yeah. meantime, he had to work with me on the dining room and the kitchen table. We were a bit hudged up at the time. He, he did, he walked in and went, where's my desk? Uh, sorry, it's in a bite cell. Yeah. So, you know what, at the beginning, use your own stuff. Nowadays, we've got a whole bunch of posing kits, but at the time, we just had to use my stuff. Anything to add? It's very good. Grand. Bite to cell. Oh, yeah. And we got, apparently, according to the agent, the highest per square foot that year for a two-bed flat. So, you can do bite to cell in a recession, but just be prepared for last-minute shenanigans and dress it beautifully. Mm -hmm. And then you can do bite to cell in a rising market as well. See you soon. Bye.